Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about the big PTR changes that just came out, the patch notes, December 1st, 2022. There's a lot to cover, whether it's items, gear, weapons, and really what kind of buffs and nerfs we're going to be seeing on both sides of the table. So first off, I do want to say they have temporarily disabled leaderboards at this time on the PTR, so expect that to take a little bit longer. I would assume there was some kind of you know busted mechanic or something wrong with the leaderboards altogether for them to just take it and disable it in the PTR. So to go a little bit farther, they do talk about the economy and progression. The big thing I want to touch on here is the heart of Magda Ball. If you guys don't know, they had a critical hit chance on it, and now it's been reduced poison duration perk. So if we actually take a look here, the heart of Magda Ball no longer has increased critical chance perk. Instead, it has a reduced poison duration perk. That's a huge, huge debuff or nerf to the heart of mag ball this is definitely one of the strongest rings out there in the game right now for slash damage players you had hardy keen awareness and of course like i said slash damage now taking that keen awareness away you're losing crit chance which is definitely something a lot of people like to take on their rings so let's go back over and take a look at what else they changed so they have a bunch of ui fixes ux fixes uh they have qols a little bit going on to improve loot ticker presentation to highlight top items and a bunch of other things but nothing too crazy in the trading post either one big change they actually had in the world experience category was that they added a gypsum kiln to the brimstone settlement. This will be very, very nice for a lot of us that spend a lot of time in brimstone. We don't have to just leave brimstone every time we would need to use a gypsum kiln. Another thing I want to touch on is the combat in AI, of course. So notable fixes, they updated triggering logic for all perks and passives that are activated on ability start or finish. This update will fix perks activating when abilities are not performed. They also fix crafting interactions, timing out, and falling under network conditions with high lag or packet drop. This only affected a few things, not too much there, but the biggest stuff is coming. This is the weapons. And when we talk about the weapons, of course, some stuff is going to be buffed. Some stuff is going to be nerfed. First off, we have the life staff. Basically, Basically, all they did here is fix an issue where the life staff intensity passive was able to trigger off of dots from rune glass gems, which let's be real. This is a small nerf to specific builds, niche builds that you really probably didn't run into too often. Next up, we have ice gauntlet. This is basically a delayed ability input from exiting in tomb after activating the ability to match behavior prior to release 1.7. This is good. They are trying to fix the problems that were occurring with ice gauntlets and tomb. I always yelled about it on stream by the way guys if you don't know i do stream on twitch.tv slash iGraphicEye every monday thursday and saturday at 6 p.m eastern so definitely check me out there and if you want to follow me there we do play a lot of mage so hopefully you can see a little bit of the ice gauntlet gameplay and uh hopefully this does like i said help the entomb altogether next up we have a huge nerf to gray sword reducing the power of the cross cut ability upgrade cross execution from 100 percent to 50 percent that's not a huge nerf i shouldn't say but it is a nerf at the very least fire staff they did a very big fake nerf or sorry fake buff here with fire staff it's it's very minimal but they increase the damage of smolder damage over time effect applied by flamethrower ability in the singe and watch it burn passes from 6% to 10%, which yes, it's going to give us a little more damage over time, but we also have the increased base damage of fire staff weapon by 3.5%, very, very minimal there as well. And then they updated the meteor shower description, so nothing too crazy there, but really they gave us a 3.5% damage increase on the fire staff and then a 6% to 10% burn damage increase on the flamethrower ability singe and watch it burn passives which overall yes yeah i mean it's a it's a buff and you don't see much buffs in the way of mages recently we haven't seen anything good for mages in quite some time so this and with the ice gauntlet getting kind of a fix to the entomb is definitely a buff or a good positive for fire ice mages like myself so i'm excited about this patch it's all good news for my build Next up, we have Void Gallant. Fixed Void Gallant's empowering proximity passive name and tooltip to display correctly in French. Of course, nothing really too big there. We have perks as well. Fixed issue where the lasting consumption perk was not affecting the desert sunrise food durations. Not a big deal there. Next up, we have emotes, companies, territory ownership, and the in-game store. So we pretty much covered everything we needed to when it comes to weapons. A very, very minimal bug fix and a nerf to life staff. We had the ice gauntlet, kind of a buff in a way, but really it's just a fix. Great swords, definitely a nerf. 
Fire Staff's definitely a little bit of a buff. Void Gauntlet's a fix in just language terms, so really nothing too, too crazy here in today's patch or this week's patch. But I do want you guys to kind of know what is coming your way with the most recent PTR patch notes. So that is going to be our short video today covering the PTR patch notes. Make sure if you have not already to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on to stay up to date with all things New World, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.